Hi, my name is Tom Stroenig and I'm a professional filmmaker and FPV racing drone pilot. In this video, I'm going to explain how to fly with your FPV drones safely under the EASA regulations. As a hobby FPV drone pilot, you fall under the open category and you operate under subcategory A3. So these are the most important things you need to know. The number one thing you need to do when you arrive on your flying spot is location scouting. You need to make sure that it's safe to fly and that no people are present in the area where you are flying. This basically means you need to fly outside populated urban areas and avoid crowds. However, a person can be overflown if he or she is aware of your drone operation. This person needs to be fully instructed on the possible risks and have clear instruction on how to react in case of an emergency. You also need his or her written consent. Now we all know that the main point and fun in flying FPV drones is the first person view experience. But since you are flying with your goggles on, you can't keep direct visual contact with the drone. Now the regulation still allows us to fly, but we all need to have a person next to us, an observer, keeping their eyes on the drone. The observer must be located alongside you and in case of an emergency give you clear instructions on how to avoid that potential danger situation and even tell you to land immediately if needed to avoid collision. Lastly, as drone pilots we all need to be registered and read the manual, meaning you have to complete the online training and pass the online exam set by one of the National Aviation Authority in an EASA country. Even if you bring your drone to Europe from outside Europe you need to follow the same process and register as a drone operator in the first EASA country you intend to operate your drone in. And these are basically the most important things you need to know. For more detailed information, please read the article linked in the video description. And yeah, enjoy flying your quads. Let's go!